Oh, sorry. Hello. Yeah, you're good. You're Hello. Good. Is it me? You're looking for. So today, guys, I found. I can see it in your eyes. I found Jeez. an acoustic playlist on uh, Spotify where they cover rap songs, but they an acoustic version. Nice. Dope. Nice for a Sunday. Sunday? Like a chopped and screwed happy, happy version. Ha- happy Slow Mother's Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. All the mummers. Um, shout out to yeah, mums that that aren't here. Shout out to everyone, man. So. Um, True me say love them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always. Um you might un- you might notice, sorry, that I sound a bit under the weather. I've been out partying like Paul Merson and Tony Adams in the heydays. Out or out out? Out, 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 out. Oh. Outside. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it was stressful. Have we started it? Are we just gonna have a little ramble before we get this one Because well? I feel like the preamble. Uh, mm. preamble. I feel like we haven't spoken for a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. I am absence makes the makes the heart grow fonder. It does. It definitely does, and I'm experiencing that firsthand. Mm-hmm. I um I hate you guys because you're against my singing, and everyone else in the world loves my singing. I sing on the street when I'm walking here, and I get strangers joining in with me. Like um, what do they call that? Flash dance or uh, flash mob? Exactly. Where just people just start dancing like because you guys make me sick, but SP doesn't make me sick because he joins in. He sings as well. Yeah, I'm not really so, too. SP. Proud of my um singing voice. It's not about that. that the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, <Super Bowl. laughs> Obviously, so I'm drinking the Super Bowl because um Nigeria played Nigeria played Ghana and they call that the Jollof Derby. Uh huh. Jollof Derby, which doesn't make any sense. Why? Because Jollof was invented in Sierra Leone. Ooh. But have you had Sierra Leone Jollof rice? I hate Jollof rice. Do you? Yeah. You're mad. How do you hate Jollof rice? Oh, it's, it's it's tomato and rice. I don't know, man. I p- just just cook white rice it and is, add ketchup. But I don't know what one you've been eating. Jesus Christ! I read just add ketchup to it. Mm. <laughs> Why are you even adding ketchup? <laughs> that is a bit ketchup to jello. I'm going joking, on? guys. Prison just, time. <laughs> just, Prison I'm time. I'm just trying to be controversial. There's people that do that, though. I respect it. Yeah, no, I remember the old days. Yeah, when times were hard and there was like rice left over from dinner mm-hmm. and there's nothing else to eat. Yeah. Slap a baked beans on top of the rice. Jesus. I just eat the rice. I, I, need, I need some kind of moisture. I don't know, struggle like that. <laughs> the microwave used to hit the moisture on it anymore. Back, come on from school. Mum's not back yet from work. What are you going to do? Jell off and stew. There's, uh, there's yesterday's rice on the side there. <laughs> yeah. There's a little scraping of stew, but there's no meat left in there. Oh. So I scrape whatever I can. <laughs> or I leveled up when I started adding the beans to the stew. Now I've got stew beans. You're just stretching the work, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just have, yeah, everything was going on. Yeah, whip up the work. Um, yeah. Amazing, out, Africans, man. Cool. There's someone in the comments though needs to tell me where I can get a nice jello for us in North in North London because I can't find the place. I couldn't tell you. Does Eki Bang still exist? I don't know. I don't sure. know. That was old school. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a throwback. <laughs> yeah, right, guys, let's in the um, comments, uh, put your best jello for us places in London actually because I travel. So big drip. Am I looking for my jello, man? No, actually. Um, now we've got that out of the way, let's get the show started. Welcome back to Armchair Gaffers. You have myself, Walks, and under the weather, Walks. You have Jess. Uh, I, um, I, I, under, uh, over, over, under. Yeah, Jess. And um, we are without Scorch today. Um, speedy recovery. Under the weather as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's Scorch. a lot of it going on. Yeah. Uh, how are you dealing with the clocks going forward? Because I'm struggling. Bro! You didn't introduce SB. I did. No, you said no. Yeah, no, I'm here. I'm here. I but thought yeah. I did. Damn. I'm under the weather. And we're also joined by the illustrious SP. Bro. As usual. Sorry, yeah. But I was out, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was driving my car. And I've looked at the time in the car. Digital dash. It was one twenty, and it just went to like two two thirty. <laughs> bro, I was like, this bro, I was wiping my <laughs> eyes. I was what obviously happened? I was yeah. half burst as well. So I was thinking, rah, what's going on? Like, and I looked at my watch. I was thinking, rah, this is an hour thing. I was thinking, what's, what's going on? Mm-hmm. So me just being me, I just carried on with my day. Like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then woke up the next day, and I thought, rah, like something really must have happened. And I saw someone pop up, snap, like, oh, the clocks have gone forward and mm-hmm. stuff. And yeah, but yeah. you know, you should get a warning like something like just nothing. Yeah, so it's messing oh. with my, my my feng shui. Um, but the clocks jumping forward usually means we're approaching the business end of the football season. Um, I feel like there hasn't been a lot of football 
chat in the last yeah. week so, or so. It's been very quiet international break. Before we continue, the clock's jumping forward lets you know that, yep, the season's coming to a close. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The other thing that lets you know that is when the ball goes from um, back from yellow back to white. Yeah. The balls are now white again. It's time. Some are now some maxi, yeah, maxi, short maxi sleeves. dresses. That's right. Oh, yeah. Maxi SB. dresses. Yes, if you're into to all of that stuff. Yes. Um, but yeah, England uh, beat Switzerland yesterday at Wembley. <sighs> the game was never here, not it was nor a there. very, very stereotypical international game. Yeah, never here, so not there. I, I don't think anything that happened on the pitch is important apart from Harry Kane becoming officially, they've said it now, he's the best striker to have ever lived. For who? Huh? In the world. Uh-huh. Or England huh? England What Um. Yeah Great Great pen England. Unstoppable As usual I think the last one I remember him missing Is probably that Against Liverpool And then he took another one And scored In the same game Big uh, cojones But yeah His penalty taking Is a joke uh, A few debuts I like Tariq uh, Mitchell Yeah I've Done the lad man Mark Gahey Forget all of them Conor Gallagher that's the Are one they that really going to stay Like any of them To be honest with you What in the squad Every, We all know that Gareth's got his boys Yeah If you're getting A little debut You'll run out It's just literally Just to see what you can do And you better do a lot Like doing okay Isn't enough Because his boys Are coming right back in Um, I think Sancho's Coming straight back in Who sorry Jaden Sancho That's his boy You think He's been in, out in the cold f- Since prior to I the think, Euros. I think he comes back in. He plays. He he's got one of the prerequisites to get into Gareth Southgate's squad, and that's playing for a big English team. He loves it. Look at the guys that don't play for big English teams. Tomori, um, and um, Ben White got called up. Oh, very funny. Cody. Very funny. Actually, Cody's Connor. One yeah, of Connor. Guys. Connor got called up. Yeah, but they're English though. Did Mings? Yeah, but these teams are English though. Pickford. The English teams. No, but Pickford is his number one. That's his Tom- boy. Tomori. Or something then. No, no, just, and just also the cold. Tammy Abraham batting up Sevilla can't get a looking. Oh my god, he never got called up. Didn't get. He's not getting called up, man. What? That's okay, man. He's gonna okay. play for Guinea Bissau. No, that's a violation. There's more to life than uh, playing in an England uh, friendly. I think. I think yeah, if these lot just continue to excel um, abroad, I think the pressure will become too much. Even kind of like with Grealish when he was out in the cold, and um. There were petitions and riots in the streets to get him playing, and now he's one of Gareth's boys. Yeah, uh, I spoke about this with Daps. Um, what's your guys' opinion? Mm-hmm. Does uh, Rashford get back in? Um, not in current form. No. Uh, I think if he regains form, I think he could possibly feature. Um, but no, as it stands in his current <sighs> mire that he's in, he's burst. No, I don't think. Yeah, he, he doesn't deserve to be in it. He's burst, bro. Yeah, I don't think you it's like him, a You see him wiling out So the fans the other day Difficult one saying, oh, Then he apologised at some ED. Why are you always apologising Rashford we'll Is this what your PR notes. team's got you doing every Stay time? off the notes app Just got you apologising <laughs> We'll take the Takes a app. picture of Wiley Oh I'm sorry man oh, Yes just get Has back a little to squabble with a fan Oh man I'm sorry man You know yeah. it Happens I'm a human, you're human. No you're, you're human So you shouldn't <laughs> you, you, uh, you reacted to someone trying to wind him up. I so probably wouldn't apologize. PR malarkey is involved in man. If he wouldn't get himself involved in all of this making books, that like feeding the kids was great and everything, of course. But then he started doing all the books and all the added stuff. I think in and hindsight, he's an MBE now. Obviously, hindsight's a, a hell of a drug. But in hindsight, yeah, he didn't need to be the face of the feeding the kids. He could have just like supported it. Yeah. I, think, I just think it's a noble cause. I don't think that. I don't nah, know. People don't say it, but, but I don't think that. Cost that has, I don't think that's that hasn't t- that doesn't mean that he can't complete five yard passes. I genuinely don't think so. I think his mind is elsewhere. He's not focused on football. When he wakes up in the morning, okay, his first thought and only thought isn't Manchester United. That's what the problem is. I don't know about it's that. PR. So it would definitely be other things. But he's got so much going on. He's thinking, cool. I've got goal training. And then when I finish training, I've got to go and see the mayor of Shrewsbury because yeah. we were talking about getting um free school meals for kids <laughs> under the age of one. His job is to play football. Well, I'm, yeah, he's I, a I'm brand. You, he's yeah, a yeah. brand now. Yeah, we've, no. ju- we've jumped out a window there. No, Actually, trust me, man. He's a brand. Be- believe me, yeah. The only thing on his mind isn't football. And it needs to be. That's what the issue is. Yeah, so I, that, I believe that we um were able to do more than one thing. Well, he clearly isn't. He ain't. You can't move. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. He's but he's fed. He's fed kids and was still leading the line for for, for United. It's taking um, his toll. Taking his toll now. It's done. Uh, on him. SB, are we in sync? <laughs> are we, what is no, this? What, what, Look at him. Hey, what's your record? Was he? Please tell me. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> not bad. You can't hack it, bro. You but yeah, it, we always just manages to, to manage to bring Rashford in, even when he's not um, involved. Um, so yeah, we've ticked that box for this week's episode. Um, ben White, his performance yesterday? Not nothing. You know what pissed me off the most though about yesterday? Conceding that the, the, his header in is um, still an issue. I've seen it at Arsenal, M- yeah. Mbolo. Um, Gabriel gets him out of a lot of trouble with Hedwin. Mm. Yeah. yeah. One thing you can rely on from Harry Maguire is Hedwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Aerial Jules. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's his thing. What I hated to everybody yesterday was Luke Shaw. What you would say? What, really what you hated? Or? Luke Shaw. No, what he came up with. Okay, after. the little statements. You, know, that, you go on international duty and everyone <laughs> wants to release. I feel like I'm wanted. Oh, shut yeah. up, Luke. Yeah, I think sometimes you guys have to look within and just say you haven't been at the required level. You've been playing crap. Mm-hmm. What's with all and what you think you should excuses. just continue to play? Oh, you know, I feel, I feel wanted. Shut up, man. If you feel wanted, play for England. Don't play for Man United because <laughs> we don't want you. Yeah, I, um, yeah. It's this whole kind of crying and throwing toys out of the pram when your form has fallen off yourself. Like, yeah, when is there time for oh, self reflection? You're God. blaming. They want to talk on international breaks like some bad bees. They just mm-hmm. all start tweaking when they go on international break. Like yeah, Pop yeah, yeah. was forever tweaking on international break. Said he was, he's, he's um, what was it? Dead. Oh, I forgot the no, actual No, you got to read the, the full statement, SB. Don't do that, please. What's that, the Pogba thing? Yeah. All right, Don't just take extra He said the season it. is dead. Yes. But he was basically saying the whole thing's dead anyway. Because it's dead. It is mm-hmm. dead. Well, you're the problem as well, Pogba. Yeah. Because you're forever tweaking. We need to get the mirror Freaking out, home. man. Get the mirror just, out. I'm sick of these new footballers anyway. Where's the old school footballers that just used to play? That was it. No, they didn't just play. They just played. No, they didn't just play. I there was no, so, there was no social media. Play. We don't know what the fuck they were getting up to. But they they, 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 they performed. They were drinking. They were doing drugs. They performed. These they new were. footballers, you actually have to sign someone and think, oh, what's his personality like? Does he run? Mm-hmm. Like, bro, does he run? <laughs> and yeah, you consider the brand yeah. and, uh, and whatnot. When you sign a player now, Jess, you have to think, does this... Is this guy an honest footballer? That's what you have to think now. Is he an honest footballer? Is he an honest footballer? <laughs> SP's getting old. <laughs> is he an honest footballer? Wait, Am I wrong? That, isn't that... It's, it's true. I'm not saying you're wrong, but isn't that what scouting's all about? You see how they fit into your team system. No, no, no. You have to see if he runs now, because like, there's players that just... 90% of these players nowadays just don't want to run. Really? I thought it was only Ronaldo that didn't run in press. Nah. I don't know, SB. It's like you've got a few gripes with some players now. Who, who's upset you? It's footballers in general. I think this SB's had enough. Um, I guess in other international Wait, football hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 I'm not done with England. Oh, sorry. I thought we were done. I just want to mention one thing. Do so you guys know I love Jason Jount? Yeah. However, I think my boy CG, Conor Gallagher, is coming for that shirt. People are talking about how um, next season... Uh, Chelsea can play them both mm-hmm. in the same like roaming eights. That's what these Chelsea fans are calling their players now, yeah? Roaming eights or free eights, whatever they want to call them, mm-hmm. yeah? Um, shocking. Um, <laughs> I don't think they can they can coexist. In harmony? In, not in harmony. Um, I think uh, in an ideal world, it's either Conor Gallagher or Jason Jount. Who do you think is the better player? I've got more of like a, I've got more data for, for, for Mount. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, hasn't hit the heights of last year. season. No, he hasn't. But we know what he can do. Um, we know what Gallagher has done this season. It's about mm-hmm. meeting again. Yeah. Again. But I, I love In Gallagher. A different setting. Like Gallagher, by the way, has stolen my heart. Okay. Yeah, so now now I prefer Gallagher over Mount just as my own personal preference. Wow. Yeah, I'm not saying he's better. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying like the hair... The qu- is it quaffed hair, I think they call quaffed it. Quaffed hair, like just he's in South London. What's well, old man, but it's of course the river. Mm. It's not really the same. You got love Different. Crystal Palace, man. What a South London team? They're just what are you a talking pit- about pit about is everything. What are you talking London. about? It's like you've got the young black boys, and then you got the, the the white guy with the tech. You know, in the Sunday League, you always used to see the black guy with the tech. <laughs> the white guy the always teams. always had the tech in the black team. He was there for one thing only. The tech. He would spray the ball. The black guy wants to get it and beat you six times, yeah? Guys, we are upholding many stereotypes. <laughs> tell, tell them to, to stop doing it. <laughs> stop, stop being powerful. <laughs> but, you know, I'm done with England. Yeah. Oh, no, Kane. Yeah, we talked about him. Oh, we did. Right, we're going to... What did you want to say on Kane? Like, is he the best um, English player of all time? 
Crickets. It's hard to Crickets. say. Um, oh, okay. I probably wouldn't need. Will he best goal scorer? Will he be? Probably. Yeah. You'll have the most goals. Mm-hmm. I saw um, Gary Lineker, the guy that laughs a lot, and the bald guy had a, their top 10, number 10s, yeah? Okay. And um, Gary Lineker said that it's easier to score now than it was back in their day. Oh. He said the pitches were rough. The ball will bobble. You, you get, a, get a ball laid across the six yard box and it's bobbling. Mm-hmm. Like it rolled to, to you, hit a bobble and roll back the way it's come. He didn't say that. I made that bit yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, he said, like, Gary Lineker said that if he played now, Oh, He'd have God. way more goals than than he has. Um, so he's saying the great strikers have him. He's he's ever could play any ever, but the guys in this ever couldn't play any ever. It's classic um, old man syndrome. That is old back man. in my day, rose tinted glass glass spectacle. Sorry, um, yeah, I would have I would have excelled. I would have been the man. You probably wouldn't have. The game's much faster. <laughs> players are stronger. Everything's different. It's probably more tactical than it's ever been. And defenders, I'm probably going to lean towards defenders at the elite level, possibly being better as an average. He did say that the game was more defensive back in the old days. You, you oh, try to, oh yeah, sorry, yeah, you try and stifle teams a lot more. Mm. Um, it's like Italy, so crap now. If you if you look at some of those Premier League years and see some of the goals that these top top players scored, and some of the defending that they had to or that they were up against, leaves a lot to be. Lot to be desired. Zero tactics is, is how I'd put it. Yeah, but um, we were talking earlier, and that's saying that they're playing Kenny in every game just to get him that record. That's it's nice when you got that support. It's lovely, man. Wish I had that. Must be nice, man. Must be nice. Um, SB, you mentioned Italy. Yeah. Who won't be appearing at the next World Cup? They are current European champions. How big of a shambles is this? Bro, the, the 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 Euros just covered it up for them because when you actually think about it. They beat England in the final when it was over penalties, so they drew. Yeah, the semi-finals, officially it's classed as a draw, isn't it? I think. Yeah, semi finals, they drew to Spain and won on penalties. Mm-hmm. So it was a bit of a. Papering over the cracks, you think? Yeah, because now you lot can't even qualify for the World Cup. You know what was mad, though? You've th- The last two World Cups you've missed. That's eight years. Eight years. It's poor for a team. Um, with such players But then again We were speaking And debating Damn. Is the team That good Damn. I don't know Is it, I think it might be Revisionism You know why They're bad as well Yeah Because you got to think Yeah When you look at The way football is now It's all with depressing It's fast twitch Kind of players yeah, And stuff yeah, like yeah. that <laughs> But All of these players Like their ta- the tactics That they got now Is crazy mm-hmm. So That's what Italy Used to be good on Before was the defending mm-hmm. And the tactics But now everyone's Tactics has gone up And the other the other parts Of their game's gone up yeah. as well. Whilst Italy it's really still the same stuff. I was reading um, something and they were saying a lot of horizontal passes uh, in their midfield. Oh, and it's like, are they going to change their whole structure, structure of like Italian of football? I was talking to, to my friend Scorcher, yeah, mm. and he was saying that there's no dynamism in their team anymore. Lovely word. Talking about that that fraud star, um, Lorenzo Insigne. All he wants to do is just. I cry. don't know why you lot were bombing on him to, so much. Got to Canada. Got no, to Canada. The reason why I was bombing, yeah, six, six, the reason six. why I was bombing personally is because, like, he's. I feel like he's done this to offend me personally. Okay, because I was a big fan of his. Yeah, yeah. Cut in, curl it in, yeah. Diminutive, low socks, Diminutive, yeah, tan, good stuff. beard, all that. Yeah, Looks everything. Cute. Flurry. Mm-hmm. All you want to do is the same thing. You want to slow down the pace of the game. Yeah. And cut in and try to put in that top corner. Keepers already standing there. <laughs> even, even even if the defender doesn't block your shot, yeah, it's gonna go into the keeper's hands. Without um, Spinazzola and Chiesa, there's no dynamism in that team. Yeah. And um, but the thing is, I said as well before. I um, I feel extra sad because I really like Mancini. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah okay, oh, I do like him as a manager. Yeah, man. I don't like Italy, but I do. Very well dressed. Like him as a manager. But yeah. it's hor- horrible times for Italy right now, man. Horrible times. How you being the champion? Like I said, what Europe? what do you actually do? Yeah, do what you re- do? Do you restructure everything? It's a long while. Changed again your as well. whole identity of being Italian because your whole thing throughout the life has been defending. Marco Verratti tact- is tactical now, and all of this. Yeah, stuff. in his now prime, like, he's not going to be at the World Cup. Bro. When at the next World Cup, which could be in two years. No, I could. Hopefully, it's not. Uh, Uncle Wenger gets his way. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's not. Man. Who from this team? We'll still be there. Donnarumma. Um, Bastone. Rivadi, Bastone. Morella. Even though he's been a Morella. little bit crap. Yeah, a... <coughs> Immobile won't. Cause he's yeah, awful. Immobile is awful for the <laughs> national team. Bro, 
He scores so, so much good goals for Lazio. It's, it's crazy. But he's so bad for Who's the that guy, um, Bellotti? Bellotti. They oh, were saying, well. uh, yeah, not a great goal scorer. Oh. Um, but I think I saw a stat about how physical he is and how many fouls he wins. Look at, his, look at him. <laughs> so he yeah. can kind of occupy defences exactly. uh, better than Immobile would. Um, yeah. Think about it. Like, what yeah, under 21 is, is there that's coming? That's what, that's what I was thinking. Like, There's none that I know of. I can't. Skamaka, I think his name is. Nice. There's definitely somebody. I already know Simeone and he's Arjun. It's Arjun, don't it? There's definitely Zanolo, Zanolo, really Zaniolo. Zaniolo. Thing, but he's not even nothing special, really. I thought, I thought Dan player. was swearing a minute ago. I heard some something but foul come bad out of his mouth. Bad <laughs> bad 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 bad. What was the swear word? Moisa. Moisa. Oh, sugar. He did. Did I hear that as well? I thought Moisa I heard that as well. Yeah. Sugar. Moisa. Let's, Let's respect the young goats. When you're calling up Balotelli, that's when you know. They didn't call him up, it was a training camp. A lot of people up, A lot of people In this training camp It's bad times Loads of over the hill I have no sympathy yeah. Icons um, Yeah Dark dark times But yeah big up Macedonia I think it's Portugal oh. next I think yeah. North Macedonia it's Portugal It's meant to be Like Italy um, Portugal. Portugal in this final mm. But North Macedonia Did beat Germany In the qualifiers as well Did they? Yeah Go They're not Pandev. bad Well the ghost The goal was a Pandev. good goal Oh yes I saw something Oh I forgot his name well, the player who scored, sorry. He used to play for Palermo. And I saw a video of him. And they were playing this at per, uh, Palermo's ground. He scored from that same spot multiple times. Oh, no way. It's bonkers. Oh. Alioski's so from there, isn't he? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And Goran Pandev. Yeah, Goran. Who he retired. Who retired, yeah. And I think in the Euros, the Netherlands gave him a Netherlands shirt with... Yeah. Audit- I, I wouldn't be surprised really nice if he comes out of retirement for the World Cup. Just one, run it back. Yeah, run it back one more what, time. One time for the they one time. Yeah. There's no way he ain't coming out. Of yeah, there's no. You have way. to. You have dust to. It off. Like the whole country, the whole country is not turning to look at him. You know, and he's like, Brother. like that. What's that guy? That Cubby, the TikTok guy that doesn't say anything. He's like, oh yeah, um, Cubby Lam or yes. Lame, how you pronounce it? Yeah, yeah, the face of the new boss campaign. Yeah, there'll be a bit of that. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, shout out Goran, Goran Pandev, man. Um, if you're free, pull up. Yeah, uh, since we're still on internationals, quickly uh-huh. posted on Instagram. Brazil are looking very Brazilian. There's um, a nice vibe in that camp. Yeah, it yeah, looks yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think Pastor Fred is a massive part of it. <laughs> man, so preach, happy for preach. So happy, man. Um, yeah, it looks like it's it's looking kind of Brazilian again. A little bit. Things um things we love to see. Um, did you see the picture of Messi in the Boca Junior shirt of Raquel May? It's presented with it. I think that's probably well, his next move. That's not even his team. No. So, uh, was it? Newell's. Oh, boys. Boys. That's like, yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, he accepted the shirt with glee. Glee. <laughs> <laughs> what, remember that show? That was a bit, bit of a yeah. strange time. Oh, yeah. No, we're not talking about the show. We're not going to talk about the show. No, we weren't talking about the show. Oh. Yeah, it's Adlib. Adlib from Cape Town. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, but I did watch the show, though. Yeah. Great mixtape with him and Blade. Yeah, it's Come on, fantastic. Man. That's what 2022 is all about. It's all about Blade and K Trap doing that. Spectacular things. Um, yes, Jess, was there more on international football? I had some bits, man. But I think it's all gone. Christian Eriksen scored his first goal for Denmark. What a great year. Come back. And he's still right over now. until it's over. He's only focused on the World Cup. Big stepper. But um, are they qualified? I, I believe so because their they record is crazy. They're actually a good, like, proper. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Set up. But I yeah. heard they, they take it proper serious, like the Danish players. Like, they don't miss, like, any games, like, any of the players. That's right. If you look through their apps, mm-hmm. they've all got mad apps for, for them. It's like a proper honor. Yeah, that is mad for them. Yeah. I like that, man. Club, club, country. There's no rivalry there. If you had to choose between club and country, Ooh, I think that's a very difficult question because mm. it all depends on the player mm. and their country. Okay. So I mean, like, um, you, let's just say someone, I don't know, let's just say you're from Tuvalu, yeah? And somehow, Lovely place. Yeah, and somehow you're playing in Serie A or for, like, or for Real Madrid, like you're the main man. Mm-hmm. If Tuvalu call you up, yeah, but you can also play for Spain, you're not going to play for Tuvalu, I'm sorry. Mm. You're just not going to do G- it. Tuvalu? Tuvalu. It's like a Pacific Tuvalu. Island. Okay. Yeah, you're just not going to go and play for Tuvalu over Spain. Yeah. Uh, what else has happened recently? Did someone lose? 
Did someone lose? Did someone win? Someone always loses. Man United appointed trying to appoint a manager. The dossiers have been submitted. For Chelsea? No. Oh, no, no, no. Have you heard about the two call rumour to Man United? I keep hearing it. It's I, just I keep hearing it. I'm thinking, why, I, why do they keep pushing this? But then, mm-hmm. they, you know, when they keep hearing something, it's like, there has to be some truth to it. Credence, yeah, yeah. But um, it's a bit wild. Like, it's like, Tuchu, why would he go from Chelsea to Man United? Not only that, why would the new people that get Chelsea say, oh, Tuchu, mm-hmm. goodbye after you just won us the Champions League? Just go, fuck off, go to Man United. Yeah, a bit strange. I think that's again part of that like United getting names thing. But it seems like Ten Hag is now leading the race uh, to take over um, at Old Trafford. We pray. I think whatever United do, they have to give the new manager time. Yes, I've said this yes. to many friends. I'm happy for a few lean years, a few more lean years in yeah. terms of silverware and performance if it means that there's um, continued success or progress. Or we can actually watch... Us dominate a match at home mm-hmm. Dan, for 90 minutes. How things should be. Yeah. Me personally, I think United are spent force. Fair. Uh, fair. Um, I said this like months and months and months ago when you're not finishing second in the Premier League, that you guys are going to be the new AC Milan. You're going to have that period where it's just not happening for you. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Milan even had some years out of the Champions League, didn't they? They yeah. were like a Europa League team Quite for a long a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, don't be surprised if that happens to United as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at that if it means that we can. Somehow begin that ascent to the top again, which uh, is never promised. It's looking far right now. No, no, for sure. So yeah, yeah, very, very but far. I'm away. taking Ten Hag. No potch, please. Pogba, do you want him to stay or go? I really want him to. Ah, uh, it's a sticky one because oh, as like, he was approaching his answer, I, I do like Pogba. I do like him, but mm. well, he needs to go. When you actually deep it, like he's been at Man United for six years because his contract's running out. So he ain't signed a contract since. So he's been there for six years. Mm-hmm. And if you think of clutch performances or the amount of times he's played good for Man United, I can barely count it on one hand. Damn. Like he had a big game against Man City. But every now and again, you play him off the left and you're like, that's what he needs to play off the left. I nice, see. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I've got to be, I've got to take off the Man mm-hmm. United mask and actually just tell it for what it tell is. Tell it how it is. He's got world class talent, but he's I don't think he's a world class player. Damn. He said that um Double homicide. He said that um is it Didier Deschamps? Yeah. <coughs> Gives him a role in France, but United he doesn't know his role. Whatever, man. Wouldn't you ask your manager what your role is? He obviously has. He's not world class no. That's, That's what, what I'm about saying, to say. No, but there's only one manager at the minute. So wouldn't you, if you don't know your role, I would probably speak to my manager and say, hey, Gaffer, tell me my role. <laughs> if the manager can't answer that, something's wrong. Is it three? Cool, did he have an interim, did he? <coughs> he didn't have gigs, did he? That was after uh, Moyes. Had after. Carrick for three yeah, games Carrick as well. Bit, like, 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 so Mourinho w- maybe said, oh, do you see what Mourinho said? About the Lazio players smoking cigarettes with Sarri? Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh Smoking and Italy up. go hand in hand. That's not even that's not even news. Um, Mourinho said four things. Four things Mourinho said. He said, "I'm gonna read." Oh, I them. saw this post. Yeah. Did you see this? As well? No, no, I didn't see it. He said, um, "Number one, these are things he said in the past." Yeah, yeah. Pogba is a virus, not a team player. Number two, Martial is lazy and needs to be sold. Number three, Rashford cannot be Man United's main striker. And number four. Luke Shaw doesn't use his head. <laughs> He's right. And you got sacked him. I think the timing is perfect for all those statements because when people were calling Luke Shaw, Shawberto, when Rashford was scoring, was it 19 or whatever, carrying United, I didn't see that post. So that post has been in the drafts for a while. <laughs> but Father Time has his way of making everything all right. And I think um, the opportunist who created that post, the, it's perfect timing. Everything is aligned. Was a virus. Luke Shaw is a headless chicken. But you know what though? Because it's, it's kind of weird though. Because then you have. Did he say? Did he say anything about Maguire there, or he didn't? No. No. He wanted Maguire, didn't he? He wanted Maguire, yeah. And that makes no sense. And Eric Dyer, but Pep wanted Maguire as well. I can see something in Eric Dyer though. Yeah, you think? It's more than Maguire. Mm. Maguire is in the same. Category. When it comes to actually playing football with the ball on the floor at your feet, Eric Dyer is 10 times better than Maguire. Even defending. 
Bro, really you can't run at Maguire. I mean, yeah, you can like anyone can get past Maguire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, anyone. So you, if for his sake, yeah. you can't run at him because yeah. he, he'll get you get past him. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, this is United, isn't it? You guys are currently sixth in the Premier League. Some big, big games to come. There is. And I think, as it stands, we probably don't deserve it. But if we do win these big games, then we'll, we'll see. Yeah. But as we said, Arsenal, their true test is playing against these bigger teams. And yeah, they failed one of those three. Um, so yeah, we'll see how they get on in the, big the, month. the, the games. What was the one come. they failed? Uh, Liverpool. And they also lost to City not long before that as well. Oh, the, after winning the first home. half. Yeah, so the, Arsenal the, the, pretty the, strong at home though. One to thirty. Yeah, the, the big teams so um, losing to these teams at home. Yeah, the big teams will always beat Arsenal. That's fine, but the, the small boys aren't causing problems. Like yeah, you put putting them. My, putting my them thing with Arsenal is I don't know if Arsenal can handle playing two games a week. Uh, this current squad, you're hundred percent right. Uh, yeah, hundred so percent not. When they rearrange the North London derby, because there's a few games where they've rearranged. Your Sky are going to keep that until the last day. The last day of the season. I think that's Arsenal's really? test is playing. Just for the, the, the drama. You can't have it for the last day. They're that's taking a with it, though. Oh, they'll, they'll schedule it in so there's as much drama yeah. as possible. How have they, like, what are they doing? Like, they even rearranged your game. You've got a game against Liverpool. They rearranged Liverpool our game, game with Liverpool rearrange, when yeah. they've rearranged your game with, who's the other big game you got to rearrange? Tottenham, Chelsea. It's Chelsea, Chelsea, I think yeah. it is. But it's around the same time as well. And then we got you next after that. Mm-hmm. They just say it up. Don't ever forget that this is entertainment. And um, I guess, yeah, I mentioned it before we came on air. Uh, Mike Dean, the legend, the referee of referees, the the true showman, he's set to retire from refereeing. What a guy. And just go to VAR and still be a fuckboy. <laughs> so I don't, under- I don't understand how this is even news. I feel as though... It's like your manager saying, hey guys, I'm moving my office from um, the front of the shop to back upstairs. Um... That's the new oh, pension. No, That's the new pension home now for the referees. Yeah, 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 man. It's, it's horrible. It's a nice extension plan, isn't it? Yeah, forget yeah. getting cussed and on the pitch and everything. And for, forget just hired in Stockley. Forget travelling around the country. Yeah, I no. can just sit in one van. In Stockley Park. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I see Why do I feel like it's a van? Like, you see, you know them um, crime things you see when yeah, exactly. the feds are stupid <laughs> yeah, or something exactly. and they're hiding in the back of there. <laughs> uh, That's what I feel like it's just a it's little a van, van on the road. Oh, an undercover transit van. Yeah, like the transit van, like on the road. He's a scumbag because. You don't want to travel around the country every week, yeah? He's so, done a lot of travelling. Yeah, so now he's just staying in Stockley Park. You're not retiring. You're just getting a different role, which means you haven't got to be on the pitch. Why are we calling it retirement? I'd actually want to be a ref, you know? Re- retirement means that you cash in your pension and then you not get paid a pension, but no, your same employer. He's retiring as a referee. Your same employer is still going to get good wages you. as a ref as well. I'm sure you I do. think in the Prem you do, yeah. Uh, I remember I knew a yeah, landsman and, then, um, um, get, um, and he had another job. Okay. So what the landsman. The league landsman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you get like forty k, and then you get like money for every game, which can amount to like another forty k. Yeah, he still had another job. Worked on my dad, so it's probably not enough. But it's nice. You probably get travel around on the weekends. Yeah, nice hotels. It's actually, only one game. Brown envelopes. It? Think about it. It's what? It's actually really one game, isn't it? Yeah, you know. Yeah, really. yeah, once a week, Saturday or Sunday, maybe. Yeah, so it's a nice, um, nice bit of work if you can get it. Um, what Gareth Bell. Sorry, we, we forgot to mention. Gary. What guy? Seems to be dominating Don't headlines. Don't ever call Gareth that's Bell. That's not me. A parasite. That's not me. He just enjoys golf. Is that Martha? He's not. He's not. Uh, I don't call him parasite. He, that's what they're he, calling him in Madrid. He just enjoys golf. How how can they diss him in Real Madrid when he's won them four Champions Leagues? They probably think they'd won them regardless. Won them the Copa del Rey when he ran Is from the half. Two La Ligas. Mm-hmm. Two La Ligas. More. Was it three? I think it's three club world cups. like to complain in Real Madrid fans, <coughs> don't they? Yeah. I always find it weird, yeah, when the team that wins the Champions League don't win the club, club world cup. You'd Does make she, them favourites, yeah. right? Yeah. You'd make them favourites. Um, but yeah, Gareth Bale, um, one of the most clutch players um, alive. Ever. And he seems to find his best form, yeah, I guess, in the last three years for Wales, I'd say. It's, it's I that tournament. What's that tournament when you come in the semis? 2016 Yeah that one. 2016 um, That Wales team They were really at it Ashley Williams um, Was it Carl Robson Canoe As well Possibly Yeah, Robson, uh, yeah. Um, yeah they, they they had it um, But yeah I think Gareth Bell Is probably yeah, One of the best If not the best British export But One thing that sours The career Is just the way It's kind of petered out He's a legend 
<laughs> he's a legend. He said, I'm tired of football now. I've made enough money. My contract's ending. I'm not going to do what you guys do and go to Qatar, Jabbar, wherever you are. <laughs> Jabbar? Oh, where's and the Jabbar. other place they go? America. <coughs> China. He said, forget all of that stuff. I don't need that stuff mm. or the peas. I just want to play golf. So... I think he. I think what he will do if he, if Wells don't qualify, I think he'll retire. He said, "Yeah, that would be it." If Wells do qualify, I think he will sign for Cardiff. I think or something. Like that. Okay, yeah, he is. I he think he's he for Cardiff, Wells yeah. just to play for five months or something like that, kick around, you know, and then just he's someone that's been semi-retired. To the for, World Cup. For what a guy. I just think yeah, it sours his legacy somewhat. Um, high, high, high heights. He's gonna be thirty-five doing punditry work. I, you think Gareth Bell would ever be doing punditry? Yeah, every now and again, uh, they'll get me. Think? I can't see it. They were, they were yeah. just about getting him in for enough. a Tottenham game, like when this guy's sports studio, like Gareth Bell. We get bored, you'll, see him on, you'll probably see him in Masters, in the Masters doing commentary than mm. football, mate. Listen, he'll get bored. Once he hasn't got a train, <laughs> give him like a year. He's like, Sheila, I'm, I want to do something. You know, this that's what golf's for, though. Getting away from Sheila? Yes. Mm. During the day. Yeah. Over <laughs> the long weekend. The whole day. A weekend, bro. Thursday, Friday. Okay. On the golf course. Saturday, Sunday. Thursday, it's beautiful. Saturday, Sunday. It's beautiful. Uh, we mentioned world class. Um, I saw a stat this week about Mbappe. He's 23. He has 323 goal involvement in senior football. Wow. You know why that is, right? It's why like so? When he was like 15. Mm-hmm. I looked this up the other day uh, where he scored his goals. They've all come like for senior football, like not like, like under 21s. Like mm-hmm. They've all... Like first le- first class football. It's because when Rashford scored that penny and touched his head, he transferred his powers. Okay, to him. that was the um, that was it. So that was the big moment. No, but Mbappe is he now leading the charge as the the next goat? Well, everyone lamb. The, the talk is obviously Haaland and Mbappe. The issue with Haaland is just the injuries, as we are all aware. A big injury hit season, isn't it? Yeah, like um, a oh, weird body type there. I feel like he's gonna get his whole life. Too much power. Too much. He's too yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, too big. Mbappe slight. Mbappe can just. He's got the physique for it. Um, what do we think in terms of the prem bringing it home? Injuries. World class players in the prem as it stands. Yeah, you've got loads of world class players in the prem. Loads, loads, and whatever world class means. Sorry so to you, let's go your family and friends. Yeah, world class managers. Let's go through every team. Yeah, let's start at um, Manchester <coughs> City. For example, yeah. Who do we have that's world class at City? Okay, um, you got the goalkeeper. You got a centre back. Goalkeeper. Which one? Um, Edison. No centre back. Um, Diaz. Diaz. World class. Yeah, hundred percent. You got a right back. Um, Cancelo. Mm-hmm. For sure. Well, left back. Yeah. Whatever you want to call him. Oh, you got Carl Walker. Carl Carl Walker's. I'll give you Carl World class. Yeah, nah, not for me. No. No. He's one of the best right backs. I'm real player, but I don't think he's world class. There were lesser players than him, yeah, that have been deemed world class. That and that's a shame on whoever deemed those players <laughs> world class. It's, it's not. It's a shame me. on no one because they've been deemed world class. Morris, Morris, exactly. I think Morris um, probably is Raheem on Sterling knocking on the door. Raheem Sterling's not. Um, <coughs> um, KDB, KDB, exactly. Like so, that's, Ooh, that's already like five I, or six. I, I think he's a hider. I'm just saying mm. like, that's like five or six at Man City alone, and then you go to Liverpool. You got big Bobby Firmino. World class. He doesn't world, even play. World fucking class. Then you got obviously Salamone. Need not be said. You got Thiago. You got Fabinho. Thiago. You got um, yes, yes. So there are loads of world class players in Premier League, <laughs> and that's only from two teams: uh, Trent Alexander Arnold, Van Dijk, um, Matip, um, for even Robertson. The generosity today is just naming Alexander. the whole team, isn't it? Who's next? Matip. He called Matt already. already. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there are loads of world class players in the Premier League. SB, your your world class players. Do you think we have more or less than the the glory years of the the mid two thousands? Mm, I don't think we have a lot of world class players. I think we have a lot of players that's the level below, mm-hmm. but then the level gets higher because we've got world class managers. Okay. The under players, we've got Pep, we've got Klopp, we've got Tuch, we've got Conte. A lot of world class managers. When you think of the managers in the foreign leagues, it's like, who are they? Angelo is a dinosaur. Struggled last week against Barcelona. Um, oh my god, they got absolutely yeah. murdered. Javi's not quite there. 
Chavi's just yeah, he's new. You go to Germany, Bayern Munich's got um, what's his face? Nagelsmann. He's new. He's like thirty two, or maybe twenty eight or something. He's like just that. a kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a young young gen. What's the other leagues? France. You got Poch. Like Poch was managing Tottenham. Poch, Christophe, yes, Gantier. Like, yeah. So it's like, and then when you think of the world class players out of the Premier League, it's like how many is there out of the Premier League that's world class? Name some, name some. I'm just trying to say who Mbappe or Haaland. That's it, really. Who? Okay. Neymar's not. He's drunk. I heard to training. Like, <sighs> he's drunk at training. Who Unconfirmed is? reports. I don't wanna. That's why I think the premise. What about you, Dan? World class my players? world class players at the minute. Um, I'd probably lead, lean sorry towards Mo Salah. <clears throat> by a country mile, I think he's probably the cast iron. Um. <sighs> Selection in that world class bracket. Uh, Van Dijk, I think, is still um, there at that level. I think he's shown that he's come back after his season out. Um, Man City, I would probably lean towards Cancelo, Edison at the minute. I think Diaz is knocking at the door, um, but I'd want to see a little bit more. Rodri, I think, is also knocking at the door, but very understated. Um, who else is there in the Prem right now? Did Diaz get played the year last year? I oh, don't. Yeah. He he took something home. So Diaz isn't world class, even though he was voted uh, player of the year. But Cancelo is, even though they were playing for the same team and he wasn't voted. Scott Parker was voted um, best player um, once, and I don't think he was ever. I'm just comparing two players that are playing the same team, where one won the award, mm-hmm. and in your book isn't world class, but a player that didn't win the award is. Yeah, I just don't think that's a barometer. Happens, when I've got that example of Scott Parker. Uh, for instance, Ryan Giggs winning it. Uh, Salah was. What did Diaz get? Under twenty, the young young player. What, the writers or something. Oh, yeah, football writers, I think. Hmm? So I guess the price of your. Uh, well, no, he got something. Yeah, we'll find out. Find out what it was. The price is the price is going down, just. Not really, because he's not yeah, finding is. out the facts. He's just shaking his head. I don't think he's world class though, Aaron Diaz. I think he's been getting exposed recently. Uh, yes, I think he's found it, or I've seen examples of him find it a little bit tougher. Um, but yeah, since he came into the team last year, um, yeah. he's been unreal. Um, but yeah, Cancelo is just um, a joke of a player for me. Playing out of position, reinventing, and just doing stuff that we ain't seen for ever, possibly. Can't, sorry, Kante. Kante without the injuries. And when he plays in the big games, I'd probably still lead to him. Thiago. Lean, sorry, to it. Yeah, I think Thiago's probably there. Rudiger. Silver, yeah. I think Rudiger has shown. What does he win? Bits. <laughs> Just go yes. to Wikipedia and type in honors, and you see what he's won. I think he's he's shown examples of that. So my price has gone. The price is back up. <laughs> uh, but again, it doesn't change Scott Parker. much. Scott, Scott <laughs> Parker. <laughs> Scott Parker. Um, yeah, Thiago Silva for me. Yeah, world class joke. Chelsea's best defender. I think Mendy might be there as well. Oh, sorry, Mendy. Best keeper in the world at the moment. I think Mendy's isn't he? knocking at that door, massively so. Because what I saw of Donna Ruba the other day, I can't be calling him the best goalkeeper. Aye, aye, aye. I yeah, yeah, I can't remember. Um, and Harry Kane, I'm gonna go out on a limb. <sighs> I'm. I think this is the one which uh, tears me up a bit. Yeah, I'm probably leaning towards Kane just about being world class. We need to find a way to quantify what is and isn't world class. Solve a lot of arguments. In yeah, that's jets. the only way. Uh-huh. Because um, Robbie Savage referred to himself as being world class in his day. And his argument for being world class was that uh, he played on the pitch alongside world class players. So therefore, he had to have been world class. To compete with them. Yeah, which means by that statement, everyone is world class. Everyone in the Premier League. Yeah. Exactly. And this is why we don't listen to Robbie Savage or quote him too much, because that is a shocker. Um, talking about these dinosaurs, yeah. Um, you can't be anything these people say. Do you hear what Gerard said about Saka over there? What was he talking about? That was there? a bit annoying. And Gerard and Lampard, I think the older they get and the more they more exposure we have to them um, as I don't know orators or speakers. Yeah, yeah. They need, <sighs> they need to not speak. How dumb was that? It's so embarrassing said? because Gerard's had too many howlers already. Like he was like thirty years ago. He said, "Yeah, that, but the like, thing is, though, yeah." Um, there's a piece from a paper um, not so long ago where he said referees need to protect his players, his Rangers players against yeah. Dundee's. Yeah. So one minute you're saying 
like we need protection from these fouls and then you're saying players need to accept these fouls so just make your mind up but this is what happens when people say what they don't believe they just say whatever everyone's going to agree with to not make them you know the best thing he said is after was that he said he had no hip he had no arm he had this he had that he's got pig's heart yeah this that and this is what happens it's not, that's not what's meant to happen yeah, to that's me. not what's meant to happen mate. Yeah. 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 he why doesn't have to have hips in his, whi- in his hips <laughs> hips in his hips yeah. Yeah. why are we I mean, promoting uh, broken bodies like do, yeah, yeah. Like, what? that's part of the parcel no bro Struggles that was part run. of your parcel bro because oh. you wanted to put your body on the line exactly and no bro like, it's a shot he's had a stinker um, yeah, that was, that was a big and it just probably makes you think that like yeah this is I don't know. Is that part of his instruction? We to, need to, to like kick people. We need to just realize these people are good players. Yeah, doesn't mean that they can speak or their opinion should be held in any high regard. They're no. good at one thing. I'm here for that. Yeah, he's he's yeah. had a few howlers in the last. I think since taking over Aston Villa, he's kind of exposed himself a little bit. Um, and even there's an excerpt from his book where he talks about coming onto the pitch to foul Ander Herrera and like it's just like was it Ander Herrera or Matter? I think it's Ander Ander Herrera. It was Matter. He got sent off. No, <coughs> no was he, one he, he fouled. tried to he tried to collateral Matt. I think Matt got lifted and then he got and he's yeah, like, I feel like my fouled, studs go into his like Yeah. Bro. Does that make you cool? Like what is no, this? No. Yeah, is this some like game. V- villain? Um, because character like play. if I if I was right in my book, yeah, I walked up my house the other day saying the next person I was passing my barge into the road, yeah. Mm. That's not cool. You got you gotta have something interesting though for them to sell it, innit? That's the thing. Like Just don't you see like every time good. when when the book's gonna come out, you always hear some story. Like, There's always some like Rooney, shock. Rooney's book came out the other day. You heard, oh yeah, I put an extra thick studs. Yeah, thick yeah. studs, longer studs. Yeah. I put an extra thick studs, studs, studs on. <laughs> thick tweak, studs to tweak on Terry. Like, it made us no sense. I like. put an extra thick like, studs. All right, we knew like we knew he was a scumbag, Rooney. But come on, or yeah. he used to fight people when he was thirteen or something. Like that. Yeah, and that's cool. It's always something to sell a story. It all depends, like. Who says it? Yeah, because the pundits will ever like say, yeah, oh, he was real hard. Oh, like, that's not. It's not okay. Yeah, yeah it's All Gary Neville. Then you have okay. Gary Neville chiming in all the time with his one. Robbie Fowler things, said like, something this week. Please no. I've got it here. Robbie Fowler, property right. mogul. No one from Man United should ever speak. <laughs> yeah, the about old boys. Anything time being about. good. When Robbie, Ryan Giggs is just the, uh, yeah. the, the, the yeah. epitome. Of scum, of scum. <laughs> like he's the epitome, like bravo. He finds new laws. Before you get to what you're gonna say, Dad, actually say he is the epitome of scum. Like there's no, all right. People say John Terry. No, 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 no. Actually, John Terry is scum. But yeah. bro, Ryan Giggs is bottom barrel. Like, mm. and I, I'm a Man United fan. I used yeah. to love Giggs, bro. and I love that because yeah, we we should be able I to found speak out on after things that properly. He was yeah, a bottom barrel guy. Like, yeah. Guy said that nasty guy. <laughs> Robbie Fowler. On Gary Neville, I laughed this week when I heard Gary Neville saying that Manchester United should make Diego Simeone their next manager. He doesn't fit with anyone who loves football. He essentially exists to stop opponents playing football, which no one should welcome. Robbie Fowler, you're wrong. What do you make of that? Pretty honest. I understand it. Is he wrong? Um, I think there are different ways to win. Some are more glamorous than others. Some are destructive, but I still think that there's art in being defensive. It might not be easy on the eye. We need to remember if Watford could, if it was sorry, if it was so easy to be defensively astute, Watford wouldn't concede a million goals. Leeds wouldn't concede a million goals. I think there's an art to defending. Yeah, we need to remember Gary Neville was probably the worst manager. Yeah, him and Ronald were still fighting for that title. Yeah, but. Did Ronald Abel ever lose 7 0? When it worse than that, wasn't it like 8 or something? I don't think, did he not even win a game, did he? No. <coughs> Didn't score a goal. What a guy. Tragic. Absolutely yeah. tragic. Tragedy. Diego tragedy. Simeone? For United? No, uh, for anyone? Or thoughts on him? Too defensive. Diego Simeone belongs in um, Atletico and that's it. Yeah. Maybe he can go and manage Argentina in 15 years, but he has to be in 15 years. Can't be in time soon. He yeah. can't manage Argentina until he's got grey hair. And as it stands, that afro is black. Very black. Noir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's Rich, in that Rich James' sister. Yeah. yeah. Do it. Commercial. Do it, I think. <laughs> any more for any more from the gaffers um, today? And this international break, some downtime. Um, so, Nigeria and Ghana drew. Now, Ghana had the worst hospitality you've ever seen in your life. Uh, yeah. If it was TripAdvisor or 
Booking.com. Zero stars. So Big the plane, props. Can yeah. I speak to your manager? Yeah, you, you know the, the little yeah. ladder you, you, you get on the plane, yeah? The Ghanaians, like, had a ladder that wasn't the right size. It looks like something that you'd see in, a, like, a local hall if you wanted to, like, paint the ceiling. Exactly. It's just, like, little exactly metal that. poles and stuff. It's, like, it's, scaffolding. It's like, it's like, for example, the flight was landing and the people at the airport were like, is the flight landing here? They're like, yeah. Well, what are we going to do? We need to get off the flight. And then someone's just literally just found this. Got this. I've got this. In the lockup. Yeah. And then um, there was a press conference. Do you see that? A like shambles. Hosted in someone's living room, was it? Something, Something like, like that. Bro, it looked like they just put the fucking microphones on the yeah, floor here. they did. This is why I've been I've been talking about Ghanaians all this time and everyone laughs at me. I preach about the Ghanaians, okay? But you know, now you've seen it for yourselves. You, they can't be trusted. They're good people, man. <laughs> What's that? I said they're good people. The hospitality for Nigeria wasn't good, obviously, but... I want to see what Nigeria is part Africa, of the dark arts, man. What's Africa beef, innit? I want to see what Nigeria do on the flip side now because it's two legs, right? How petty can you be? Yeah, because yeah, yeah I want to see how low can you go? <laughs> I want to see what, what Nigeria would do. That is a big rivalry, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else is there from the world of football? International week, guys. I'm honest with you. I'm only here this week because we weren't here last week. We're con- contractually obliged. <laughs> yeah, like contracted hours. Had we not missed last week, our paymasters said we have to be here. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't even bother with today. We're here for you. Is that yeah. what Marshawn Lynch said, the NFL player? I'm here just so I don't get fined yeah. at the press conference. Yeah, love it, love, love it. it. Yeah, we're here just so we don't get fined, and because we talk about football. What's up, Big Chris? Please. Oh, is he injured? Yeah, he's having surgery. For what? He's done. <laughs> You don't he's, play. He's getting a BBL. How can you kill him? <laughs> <laughs> you sick. He's sick, actually man. getting a BBL. He's got he a BBL. He's getting a BBL, bro. He ain't played no football. So Even Hazard, be, yeah. He's fucking BBL disgusting. to tweak. But the thing is, t- <laughs> 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 the thing is, though, like, when the move was made, I thought, yeah, this makes perfect sense. This is it. You did. You had your farewell season at Chelsea. Yeah. Carried on. Oh, yeah. How's it going so bad? Disgusting. 100 mil. Was it? Yeah. Chelsea are laughing, man. Well, good, good not right now they're not because of other things, but they were at the time. At the time, he yeah. who lost, laughs, 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 he honestly la- laughs, he laughs. Yes, yeah. I can't yeah. keep up to date with. I would like to talk about the Chelsea thing, but there's no point. We can't even keep up to date. Every no, day. Just listen, changing. yeah, one minute they got fans, they all, then they can't yeah. buy. Six listen, I'm no muggers. We're going on yeah. ground, yeah. I'm no, I'm no. He just grabbed her breast. You see that? The Red Bull guy. <laughs> Sorry, F- F1's on the screen. What's Basically, happened? see when the Chelsea first got their, their sanctions, yeah? Sanctions. I was like, I know exactly sanctions. what this is. I, I've seen this before, yeah? Okay, to save face, what you got to do, you got to hit him hard, yeah? yeah. Instead of showing you mean business, yeah? Mm-hmm. And after some talks, okay, we'll ease this and ease that. So then no yeah. one can complain because you at least came in hard, yeah? The headline, everyone just remembers that. Yeah. Exactly. But then if you look now, if you really look at what they can and can't do, like the, the club's getting sold. Okay, where does the money go? Get frozen into a secret account. Yeah, so it's it's not he's not his money then. No, just, just frozen. I don't understand why they couldn't have just done that at the start. Like, yeah, common sense. Yeah, just put the money that Abramovich can't touch. Yeah. Anyway, Shanks. But yeah, Eden yeah. Hazard hasn't played in El Clasico since joining Real Madrid. Yeah, mad. On that very sour note, <clears throat> like to bid you all a happy Mother's Day. Have a great week and we'll catch you on the Armchair Gaffer show next week. Will we? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Peace out.